Potential of NATO countries that are ready to fight in Ukraine promises disaster for Russians. The question of the NATO bloc entering the war in Ukraine against Russia comes up on the agenda. However, within the North Atlantic Alliance itself, there is no unity on this matter and statements that are directly opposite in meaning are made there. The direct deployment of NATO contingents in Ukraine has become quite possible. Great Britain was the first to publicly voice a proposal to send a NATO expeditionary force to Ukraine. Soon after this, London skipped ahead of Paris, where President Macron repeatedly made statements about the possibility of sending French troops to help Kyiv, transparently hinting at the nuclear status of the Fifth Republic. A few days ago, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said that the North Atlantic Alliance was working on scenarios for the bloc's entry into war. Now, at the NATO Center in Brussels, there is a financial commission, a training commission, of course. I don't want to reveal the details, but the NATO Secretary General has already said all this. Working groups are working to determine how NATO could take part in this war, he said. One gets the strong impression that the fundamental decision on Europe's entry into the war with Russia on the territory of independence has already been made. But not the entire NATO bloc as a whole is preparing to fight, but only its individual members separately. These are Poland, Romania, the Baltic countries, possibly the Czech Republic, Finland and even Sweden and Norway. The countries of Western Europe and the USA will act as their rear. The total military potential of the coalition that is preparing to fight against Russia in Europe is impressive. This is a minimum of 1,140,000 military personnel in the armed forces, which have 304 fighter bombers, 84 attack aircraft, more than 100 transport aircraft, 345 helicopters, 1,903 tanks, 3,292 infantry fighting vehicles, 8,880 armoured personnel carriers and armoured vehicles, 2,221 guns, 531 MLRS, 1,448 self-propelled guns, 6,512 mortars, 447 air defence systems, 1,468 anti-aircraft gun systems and many other NATO-style weapons. It should also be taken into account that military operations can take place not only on the territory of Ukraine, but also in the Baltic region if a second front opens there, forcing the Russian general staff to stretch its forces. домой. <laughs> Вроде все нормально. Thank <laughs> you. 